All right, well, let's check back in with meteorologist Robert Sir. That ice and sleet we talked about, that is behind us, but, you know. For now. It is, uh, yeah, for now. <laughs> yeah, for now. We always like, right, well, what else is on the agenda, right? Yeah, it is still, I must say January. It's already February. We still have right. got no, weeks ago. and weeks of yeah. winter to go, folks. I don't think we're done yet with the snow. And my gut tells me spring is going to have a very late start this year. Winter's going to hang on. But first, I want to take a quick look back at how we did in January. Usually do this the first uh, weekend after a month ends. And temperatures, it was one of the warmest Januaries ever. In fact, the sixth warmest January ever at Drake Field in Fayetteville, the 12th warmest January of all time in Fort Smith. They don't keep those records, unfortunately, at XNA, but five degrees above average at Drake Field uh, and about uh, five degrees in Fort Smith as well. Now, it was also a snowy January, if that makes sense. Now, at XNA, we had 2.78 inches of precipitation. They don't keep snowfall numbers, but nine inches of snow at Drake Field, which makes it the fifth snowiest January ever. Overall, just under three and a half inches of precipitation. Both these numbers above average. Fort Smith, though, was below average for precipitation, but above average for your snowfall. Uh, four inches of snow in Fort Smith in January and just under two inches of precipitation in general, about an inch below average. So it's a wild start to the new year. And as we said uh, here, taking you outside, really no problem. You can see the sleet still covering the infield there at Arvest Ballpark. Hey, there's Mount Sequoia uh, top uh, there in Fayetteville. Our camera was shaking earlier. The winds have uh, settled down a little bit. Table Rock Lake looks great up to our northeast. Look at that sunset. Still some ice on the ground. And Poto, things are nice and quiet on this Saturday evening as well, where temperatures upper 40s and lower 50s at this hour in the River Valley, mid to upper 50s. A very, very warm day. That sleet and ice quickly melting. We have a boundary approaching from the west. That will lead to an increase in clouds as we go through the rest of the night. But other than that, and some gusty winds in northwest Arkansas, very, very quiet. That boundary crosses. The opposite happens tomorrow. We'll see clouds decreasing, so lots of sunshine here by the afternoon. Look at these temperatures into the 60s, even Sunday night not too bad, into the upper 40s, and then waking up Monday morning as we head back to work and school, not bad at all. I think by the time we get to Monday morning, there won't be much sleet left on the ground other than those piles in the parking lots. Lows tonight will be in the 30s, above average, so the ice will continue to melt off, 50s and 60s for your Sunday, and the extended forecast it's not too bad. We are watching a system that'll bring us some rainfall Tuesday and Wednesday. That rainfall at times might be moderate. We'll keep an eye on it, but we have made Tuesday an impact day. And then as we get toward the end of the week, we're watching a system that could bring us a little bit of snow, maybe a mix. River Valley about the same thing. Pretty windy on Monday. Then that rainfall moves in here, but notice temperatures really aren't that bad. We don't cool down until we get to the end of next week. Whoa, what a nail biter. For the hogs today on the hardwood, Meredith Malky is here. She's putting her microphone on right now. Getting you ready for sports next.